Hi guys, my name's James, welcome to Planet Parts. Today I've got a little challenge. I'm at my mate Laura's house at the moment with her annoying child, Chloe, who just will not shut up. Chloe! And also, she made a star cookie earlier on and she didn't give me any of it. How selfish is the younger generation? We've got a load of TRVs to fit in this house here. They're also old TRVs. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be updating all of Laura's system to a Tado system so she can run all her heating on our app. We're gonna change the heads on three TRVs and also fully change four radiator valves to TRVs at the same time. And we are against the clock. I'm gonna set myself the target of doing this in an hour and a half, all right? That actually looks like the clock out of Back to the Future. Marty! So let's get on with the video, and if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, stop watching right now, leave the channel, I don't want you to watch any more of this video, you scumbag. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, the bell, and comment below how quick you think you could do this. Let's get on with it, hold tight! Right, here we go. So first things first, we're gonna get out the wireless smart thermostat. Laura, have you got your phone on you? Yeah. Come here now, please, I love you. Um, can you get on the app please, uh, App Store, and download, search for Tado. Okay. That's it, heating app for smart thermostats. See, this is what I don't get. Like, look how long her nails are. How are you supposed to use a touch phone for that? Oh, I know uh, that one there, get that. And then let that download, go in there, set yourself up an account, I'll come back to you in a minute. All right. right, okay. So this here, this is the wireless temperature sensor, completely like not wired, it's wireless. Uh, and later on, we're gonna be using this to just be mainly the, the house thermostat. The thing is as well, these are so good. Sometimes this is more of an addition, that's how I kind of see it, but they are good to have. Uh, but the first thing we've got to do is put the wireless bridge in. So I've got a little net ethernet cable for that and a little power supply should we need it. So look, we've got the instructions here. Have you ever read these before? You probably haven't, because you're like me. Uh, we need to read them. So install the internet bridge, so let's go. Install the internet bridge, Max, what else? What's all this stuff here? <laughs> you're making a snail. Oh, don't, oh, I'm really sorry to, well tell you what, make the snail again, but over there. <laughs> we do one here. So let me pop this in here like that, twist it, yeah? And then it's got a little bit of plastic, I think it. Actually, is there, oh, there is a USB out. So we can use the USB out on this as a power supply. Get this ethernet cable, pop the ethernet in there. In goes the ethernet, pop that into the back of the beast, and then pop the power supply in here. See, we've got a nice couple of little lights. So I follow the instructions even though I know how to do this. Honest. Press and hold the pairing button until the LED starts blinking. So we're gonna hold that. Lovely, it's pairing now. And then remove the battery protection strip from the wireless temperature sensor. Up we go. I'll be beaten by packaging today. No, we're not gonna be beaten by packaging. You are right, Chloe? <laughs> Chloe's having a great time. Remove the battery connection strip, so this is still, and press the button for three seconds to get it pairing. So there's a battery connection strip, remove that. Hold this for three seconds. One and two and three. Right, there we go, that's them two going. So we're just gonna leave them doing their job down there. And now we're gonna replace the room thermostat. Room thermostat's here, doesn't need to be on here anymore. Got an old one here, Comfort RF. Batteries in here, might come in handy. That. Go. Drill, drill. Or do we need the drill? Oh, Max. Max. Right, get this undone. Beautiful. Oh look, there's a wire in there from when there used to be a thermostat here. Back in there. Sorry Max, I know you're, I'm in your way. You're gonna start having a go at me in a minute like you usually do. How are you doing, Chloe? Look, we're gonna undo this. How cool's that? You see that? That is cool, isn't it? Please let these holders line up. How about that? So the reason I'm in a bit of a rush is because I'm going to Headingley later on today to watch the cricket. And also I kind of wanted to demonstrate how quick it is to do this sort of job. There you go, nice and level there. Let's see, this should be now paired up. Right, that's paired up now. Bang it on. Doing it like this, I just do, th everything that I'd find really simple and easy to do, I'd, you know, find a little bit more difficult. But also, like Chloe's, just the droning of Chloe in the background. All right, there we go. So that's on there. Oh, there you go, that's it, that's on. So we're just gonna leave that like that for now. So part one's done. We've replaced the room stat. Now we go to part number four. Now we've got a wire in the wireless receiver. Don't do this if you're not happy about doing electrics. But if you are, like, and you think you're competent, give it a try. Just don't lick any of the wires. Right, so we're getting on with time now, 10 to 11. We've got to 12. 
Oh, this is great. For some reason, Laura has got dreamies in there. She doesn't own a cat. I think they're for Chloe. Out of the way, let's get to the boiler. Look, she's got a cat thing up here. I mean, how granny is that? Right, anyway, so the boiler's in here. Let's make sure the boiler is switched off. We're just gonna get under here and get this panel off. Depending on what boiler you want. Depending on what boiler you're fitting, it might just fall apart in front of your eyes. Uh, we're fitting this on a little baby Worcester at the moment, but you need to know what's going on with links and stuff like that when you're doing this sort of work. So we're gonna have two links in here. Just gonna test to make sure the power is off. Dead, 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 dead. So the next bit, so look, they do it almost in stages. So we take that out, and now we're on down to this little baby. Look at that. So now we've just got to fit this, take the cover off. Problem is, I don't know where the A-zone is. They might have come down with these wires here. So it's a little bit scary popping that on there. If I put it on this side, it's a lot more hidden, but it's slightly further away. Who cares? Let's put it there. We know we're not gonna kill anyone if we do that. Max! Where's my pencil? Laura, you got a pencil? Oh yeah, these as well. These for drilling. Uh, let's put that there. This is when I need one of those long pencil things. Okay, gorgeous. Always drill the first few with the hammer. Max has just knocked over the pen pot. <coughs> Beautiful. Hopefully that's all the drilling we need to do. Ah, uh, where are my splitters? There's literally gonna be murder in any second now. They're in the van, Max. That makes the job so much more quicker. Right, we're gonna have to do it without them because the van is, what, 40 yards away? That's too far. Have you seen Back to the Future, Max? Yeah, of course. What's your favorite bit in it? Plutonium. My God, they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty! So we don't need an earth on this, so we're gonna use live, neutral, and these are gonna be the two switch lives back, okay? Also, we've got a link over, our common. Just easier to do this now before it's up there out of the way. I mean, they've got a nice little wire here. I'm like, what, you know, what, what am I doing? It's a lovely bit of wire here already. Oh, hold on, that's, that's supply links. Good God. Oh, they've got Wagos on here as well. Uh, let's use this. We didn't have to do any of that. We just wasted some time there. <laughs> well, that's how it is, Mike. It's some change. So we've got our neutral, our live in. Our live needs to switch our live supply. So we link that to the central heating common and also the hot water common. And then our switch lives back to the boiler for central heating will be on the normally open and the hot water normally open. The normally closed are used generally for S plan and Y plan systems, but more commonly on Y plan systems to signal back to the cylinder that there needs to still be some sort of hot water supply. Please let me get on with this. Another quick thing as well, it's a really good idea if you're an installer to join the Tado Installers Club using the links below. It's a dedicated app for installers only. You'll get things like installer training, exclusive trade discounts, rewards on repeat purchases, and other advantages like access to online manuals and extended five year warranties as well for your customers. So check that app out using the links below. I've got to get back on with this job guys, let's do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know we're under a time limit here, but we can still do a proper job, can't we, Max? If you like this kit, I've got it linked in the Amazon store. It's absolutely great. And also, I just want to say, join our locals. Live streams on there, but also make sure you're about on Thursday evenings for a quick 10 minute live stream on YouTube as well by clicking the subscribe if you haven't done already. Right, so we've got these two links here. So there's our live out, and these are our switch lives back. So we just need to cut into those. We're basically interrupting these supplies now. You see these got, they've got these links in by interrupting them by the switches inside the programmer of the Tado. That one and that one, these all pull out. So our normally open central heating is gray and our normally open hot water is black. It says now put the cover on, turn the power on, and then we've got to wait for 30 seconds. 30 seconds? All right, while that's doing that, let's get the heating system drained down. Oh, everything should be off. Hold on, let's just make sure the bridge is still paired. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, bridge is still in pairing mode. Chloe, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, we're all, some of us are in a bit of a rush here, aren't we? Do you know? Mummy. Oh, mummy, mummy this, mummy that. Do that there, great, well done. 
Good girl. All right, press the button. Successful pairing, could take two minutes. Should we just leave it? I'll go and I'll get the hose pipe on and we'll start draining down. All right, let's do that. Region hose pipe, brand new on the Amazon store. Be free! Solid light in there. Laura, what have we got? Solid light. Chloe, what have we got? Solid light. Oh, look at Chloe's little torture doll. Look at that. Imagine seeing that in the morning blinking at you. Hello, Chloe. Please open. <laughs> have to try another one. Do that one in a minute. I might, all I want to do is just drop the pressure off and then I can do them. I don't have to drain the whole system out. I love this, I really do. I love that. I love that being there. It's really helpful. Yes. Boom. Right, Laura, have you set up yourself on your um, thing now? My app thing. Your app, you've done your app. Right, so, uh, don't have Tado yet, get Tado. Right, add device. This home is, right, so we're gonna add the device. Access the camera, okay. Please enter your internet bridge first. Okay, okay. La 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 la. La 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 la. Internet bridge, here it is. Internet bridge, register device. Connect to the internet. Connect power supply. Wicked, right, there we go, it's there. Right, add device. There we go, scan that up. Register device, it's connected already. Brilliant. Right, so we've got three to do upstairs, these three here. And each head comes with a little pack so it can fit onto all different types of TRVs or current TRVs that you've got on there, all right? Should hopefully just need to do this by hand. So let's go upstairs. <laughs> I would take my boots off. They are big boots, they are sexy, and you can get 10% off at big boots by clicking on Elwood Workwear at the bottom. Here we go, number one, let's do an easy one. So we've got rooms of devices, so we wanna add a device. So this stat here is the one we're gonna put on here. So just scan this, like that. Take this out, this bit here. Register device, open the smart radio, pull back to the mountain bracket, pull, remove the blue battery strip, press the button label pairing for three seconds, that button there, if you can see that. One and two, three and... All right, so that's come alive. This can take two or three minutes, so I'm just gonna lay that there while that's pairing. <laughs> I was saying to wasn't I, I was like, I won't need any tools. Turns out you're doing the old stuff, don't you? Flipping it, Lord. Oh. Now you look at these, look, they are very, very similar. If for some reason this doesn't reach down far enough when it's turning the radiator off, we've got all these adapters in here, all these little dampers as well that will allow us to be able to do that. Right, your smart radiator thermostat's connected. First thing I wanna do is just go give that a name. So you're gonna give this a new name, master bedroom. So this goes at the back like this. So you want to see this little display here for the times you do want to use it as a normal radiator valve, which will be rare. Ha! See that? TRV pin was stuck down. <laughs> it should really change it. I'm not going to though, Laura. All right, Chloe, what are you doing up here? Oh my God, is that what I think it is? It will show up with this until we actually connect it on here. So this will know when it's connected. So you pop it on like that, and then you give it a little twist. Hold the bottom with your fingers. Just twist it shut like that, and then that's installed and done. You can just click on the app, blink display, and there you go, it says hi, like that, all ready to go. We've got a lot of other rooms here to do, so let's get on with them. Just leave the mess about, it's not for me to sort out. Come on, Max, we could actually do this. The amount of hate I got on the last Plumber Pass video because I was going on about the, the fact that I personally, me personally, I like to use Jet 2 compound on fittings. Oh, yeah, oh, I've done that for 30 years, I've never had a leak. Well, well, lucky you, mate. Wow. Oh, is this you, Lors? Yeah. Oh, yeah. These, by the way, are universal TRVs. So they can go on any end, up, down, sideways, round, round, baby, right, round. I am a TRV. I'm getting very quickly fitted by Jimmy. Two 
Two more to do, half an hour to go. We'll come in alive. Oh my God, it's all there. Heating, so living room rear, kitchen, room four. Don't know what one that is, I'll have to have a look. I probably forgot to put the name in. Uh, settings, I'm getting so quick at this now. Done all that. I'm ahead of the app. You know what I mean? I'm beating the app. Too quick for the app even. I have realised though that I do have to be a bit patient, especially when we're on this timing. We've got 24 minutes, that's connected. Let's fill the heat system up. There's mess everywhere. Sorry Laws, need to put some inhibitor in the system. Right, that's the inhibitor done. Oh, bad things are happening at the cricket. I've just had a text from someone saying, get your Sunday tickets on eBay. Right, so, oh, we are losing a bit of pressure. Hot water is working, just lit up. Probably gonna need to vent a little bit more as well, but I've got, how many minutes? I've got 10 minutes to vent if I want, easy. Hot water's coming through, lovely, jubbly. Now we've done all that, pairing mode's finished. I think I just pressed that, didn't I? And there we go, all done. Whew, blimey. So look, here we go, wireless temperature stat, everything's there. Now we're gonna boost the heating to every room in the ass. It should be turning on in a few minutes time. It usually takes a few minutes to sort of come through. Uh, and then I'll just grab my thermal camera to prove to you that the radiators are getting hot. Otherwise, you're not going to believe me. And we've got about seven minutes left. Just getting all the air in. I just need to top the system up. Honestly, what's the Bosch? That fill valve at the bottom, please. Please do something about that. Just topping up the pressure a bit. How does Laura do it? Why would she have that? Excuse me, can I have rum and raisin, the best flavour of ice cream there is? Lovely. Right, let's reset that. So let's just get the heating back on. There we go, boom, lit up. Right, let's go and have a quick look. I just want to prove it to you with my Bosch GTC 400C, or as I like to call it, the Predator. Lovely and hot there. Over here. Oh look, beautiful and warm. Is this my rum and raisin ice cream? Well, you know what, it almost does, it does look like one. It's quite nice, try it. Wow. Mmm, oh, oh some of the best. Payment? How much? Four. Four? Four, Four quid? <laughs> what is this, old Brissy from? Do you sell Welks? God, it's the sort of thing you get hurt, doesn't it? Ah, <laughs> didn't I say? <laughs> Oh, whack me elbow then. This you do have to keep, just pop it up on the mantelpiece, turn it up to full and just leave it, okay? That's all you gotta do. Just never touch that again, Laws, until it runs out of battery and then... I you threw that out earlier. I did, I threw it out. <laughs> Laws, I'm going to turn all your heating off because <laughs> you don't want that on at the moment, so that's it, all off. The app is so straightforward and so easy to use. I'm just going to send her a link to a plumber parts video on how to do it. Let's get out of here before Chloe drives us mad. And in how many minutes did we do it? Boom! And genuinely, a lot of you are going to say, oh, he's somehow edited it to make it look like he didn't do it. Laura, I did do all this, didn't I, in under the time allowed? Yeah. Uh, there was a couple of times where I nearly like knocked Chloe over. I did have to pick her up and dump her out of the way. But in the end, everything turned out all right. Only a couple of cuts and bruises. Hey, Chloe. Okay. She don't care. Why would you care if you run a rum and raisin ice cream stand? So if you like this clock here, maybe you'll like this video here, all about the mistakes people make when bending copper pipe. Click on that. That'll give you loads of advice on how to do it. And remember, hit the subscribe and hold tight.